Viewers, today the Mobile Science Laboratory is presenting a very unique series of experiments in which we are going to make use of metals. Khatija and I are going to do these experiments and just to give you an idea, what we are going to do is, first we have got a few representative metals over here. As you can see, in this bottle, I have got some zinc granules. These are shiny gray material yes, sir. Uh, pieces. You can see zinc has got a shiny grayish yes. white lust. Being shiny is one of the characteristic property of metal. Exactly right. Yes, Many metals have got this shiny characteristic. Yes. The next one are some iron nails. These are made out of iron as yes, you know. Sir. We a can very see some common metal. Rust also. On a yes, bit. there are a few nails which have rusted. Yes, sir. So that means they have reacted with the moisture as well as the oxygen of the air. Right. Now, the third one is a very familiar metal. Not so common for non laboratory yeah. people, but very common for laboratory people. And this is magnesium ribbon. Yes. Sir. You I know magnesium ribbon quite one nicely. One of my favorite experiments. One of your favorite experiments, yes. that's right. Now, these metals, if we put them in water, I would request you to fill up some water in of that. Course. Sir, these Enough. metals are going to react vigorously with the water? That we will see right now. In fact, you only will see it. I won't do anything. Now, what I'm going to do is give you a small piece of magnesium ribbon. Yes, sir. Held in this tong like this. And I'm asking you just to place it in water. Don't drop it inside. Oh. Just dip it and see what happens. It's not reacting, sir. There is no reaction there is, at there all. There is no reaction at all. That is right. Similarly, if we were to add gold or silver, it will not react immediately with water. But Shall now, I try with the iron nail? Okay, you, you, you can try with an iron nail. Slowly. No, even it is not reacting. It may take some few weeks to react with the moisture and oxygen. Actually. Yes, so just leave it there. Nice. Now, we are now going to make use of a very unusual metal called sodium. Not commonly found in our daily lives, but of course we use one compound of sodium, that is sodium chloride, our common salt. Yes. So what we will do is, sodium is a highly reactive metal. It is called an alkali metal because when you react sodium with water, you produce alkalis. Alkalis are, react with water to produce what are called bases. bases. So, first, to show this experiment, I want you to add a few drops of this indicator, universal. which we call universal, universal indicator, into the water. I'm taking a few drops of universal indicator. That's right, add it. Excellent dark green color you are getting yes. over there. Just give it a little mix. That's right. That's very nice. And now, viewers, I must tell you this very importantly. That sodium metal, which is there in this small bottle over here, plastic bottle, is a highly reactive element. If I leave it exposed to air, I will have no sodium left with me after a day or two. So generally seriously, what sir. seriously so generally what we do is we store sodium in oil yes so that it is prevented from reacting with in any oil sir or any you you can use any oil. mineral oil better mineral oil or light uh, kerosene or but not water but, now i course. want you to do this experiment on your own please both of us will have to use safety goggles over here so let's put on our safety goggles first. So oh, it's going to burn, sir? Or yes, we, we, it, it will give lots of smoke. De definitely, there will be some reaction, 
and you will see that it is necessary that we protect ourselves now i want you to pick up a piece of sodium yes sir put it on this and with the help of this spatula yes sir cut it i'm very certain metal metal can be cut with the spatula <laughs> exactly you you know a sodium is a very very soft metal and you'll be able to cut it and very reactive also okay. so please go ahead and do Shall it I? yes please yes please sir uh, as i told you the characteristic property of metals are shining and it's not shiny it's very dull sir you please take it out take out a small piece put it there doesn't matter i will move this to Shall the I side take this tissue paper? yes yes put it on the tissue paper cut a small piece Seriously, hold hold it hold, hold it with your tongs first okay sir and then cut a small piece and then you will see not only yeah sir it's very easy to cut yes please separate the two pieces that's right put away one of the pieces inside and you can see the shining metal you can show it towards the camera also yeah. that is a shining metal surface obtained so as we have cut this freshly just now yes so that's why we are getting shining it seems. exactly so that there has been no time for the air to react completely with this Fine. but as you keep on observing this slowly the surface starts getting dull now i would like request you to cut a smaller piece it's it is small only no sir no you cut so no that is too big for our experiment hold it properly that should do and please put away the balance piece inside yes now pick it up very soft and very shiny soft metal, metal. and But as you told it will get dispersed after some time you now what i want you to do is add it into this I will remove this first. Okay. I will ask you to now put it into this. Okay. And Shall go I ahead. put it? In? Yes, please. And now viewers watch carefully what happens. Go. Ahead. Okay, sir. I'm going to put the sodium metal in uh, water in which we have already put some indicator. That's why we are, we have got some green color over here. Shall I, sir? Yes, please. Yes sir. You can see there is a vigorous reaction. Lots of smoke also coming. Yeah, that smoke is a combination of steam as well as hydrogen gas that is coming out. Now, that this reaction is producing an alkali. Sir, like is one question. Like yes. any other metal, yeah. it is not sinking, it is floating on the water. Wonderful observation and a very good question. Sodium is a very light metal. as soon as the reaction starts the hydrogen pushes it up to the surface and you can see that it is now running round and round and i will now be able to take this out and yeah. you will be able to see that there are two important changes that have taken place over here one sodium is on the top yes, running like a mad chicken with its head cut off of and the second one is that the color has changed from yes. green to blue. Purple, purple or blue and i would say purple because that's color that we are seeing here <coughs> yeah that is the action of sodium hydroxide which is being dispersed yeah. into the air so viewers you have seen that metals are of various types their behavior with water is very different but sodium is very unique in the sense that it reacts with water not only sodium there is a whole family in the periodic table which comprises lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium and francium these are called the alkali metals and are the first group of the periodic table all of them will behave in the same way producing an alkali yes sir. and that is the reason why it They is called, called alkali, alkali metals, metals. So it's a very hot experiment today. Nice. It's a wonderful experiment, but as usual, you have to be careful 
So viewers, if you want to try this, always have some supervision, adult supervision along with you. Thank you. Thank you.